The Roach Approach, an inside look at the techniques and works of Mary Roach. I often write about science, though I don't have a science degree and must fake my way through interviews with experts I can't understand. Mary Roach was born in Hanover, New Hampshire to a 65-year-old father. She attended Westland University in Connecticut and got her bachelor's degree in psychology. After college, she worked freelance for different papers and public relations in the San Francisco Zoo Society. From 1996 to 2005, she was a part of the Grotto, which was a working community of writers and filmmakers in San Francisco. This community pushed her to write her first book. Roach published her first book, Stiff, The Curious Lives of Human Cadavers, in 2003. The book discusses the way human cadavers have been helpful in making scientific discoveries of the human body and how it works. Some topics covered include decomposition of the body, the practice of surgery, the use of cadavers as crash dummies, cadavers with a beating heart, and using cadavers to analyze a plane crash site. Roach has said about her book, A book about dead bodies is a controversial curveball. It's all well and good to write an article about corpses, but a full-size book plants a red flag on your character. Michael Dibden wrote for The Guardian shortly after Stiff was published, reviewing Roach's work. Actually, I think it has something to do with the style. Roach writes for Salon and Wired, and it shows. Excellent first-hand reportage and meticulous documentation, but also a mass of educational factoids gleaned from the internet and secondary sources. Plus, worst of all, endless failed attempts to lighten things up with a little factitious humor of the Bryson variety. Few things are more depressing than death, but this is one. Another well-known work by Roach was Spook, Science Tackles the Afterlife, which was published in 2005. In Spook, Roach takes a humorous approach at science and its theories on the soul after death. Some topics covered in the book include attempts to find a soul by dissection, near-death experiences, out-of-body experiences, mediumship, and investigation of reincarnation. Some criticism Spook received was written by Zernick for the New York Times. Reading Spook is a bit like listening to the weekend programming on NPR, This American Afterlife. Intellectual, audaciously attentive, but obvious undercurrent is, people do the wackiest things, and depending on your frame of mind, you find yourself either oddly entranced or wondering, why am I listening to this? Bonk was the third book Roach published. In the book, she looks at the history of science and its exploration in sex. She begins with Alfred Kinsey, who is best known for his surveys in the 1940s and 50s of thousands of Americans about their sex lives, and ends with recent discoveries about the origination and anatomy of the female orgasm. She even gave a TED Talk relating to this book called 10 Things You Didn't Know About Orgasm. In her book, Roach dives into the science side of sex and makes some funny observations along the way. For example, she observes that cheese crumbs spread in front of a copulating pair of rats may distract the female, but not the male. Criticism for this book mainly lies in 